What's up guys, it's your boy DeVay and I just want to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to hook up your Akai MPK49 to your Cubase. I'm using Cubase 4, I also use 5, but uh, there's a lot of uh, tutorials on how to hook it up to other programs uh, such as Reason, Ableton Live, and uh, FL Studio. Uh, those, are, those, those are really out there, but there's not a lot of Cubase ones because I tried doing my fair bit of research and uh, I, I went through a lot of trouble uh, you know, kind of researching on how to hook up my MPK with it. So uh, it's a bit of trouble, but I just want to make it easier for you guys. So I'm just going to give you guys a very quick tutorial. What you're going to need, obviously, is your Akai MPK 49. I'll uh, just give you a quick overview on it. So it's a really good keyboard. It's got your drum pads. It's got your modulation, your pitch bender, uh, full 49 keys, all your faders here. Uh, it's got the tap tempo, the octaves, everything you need for a production keyboard. Okay, so. What you're going to need is, like I said, your Akai MPK-49, the USB cable with it, which is very surprising, actually. The cable for this is is only about, I'd say about 2.5 feet long. It's a bit, it's a bit weird because producers need long cables to get around everywhere, but uh, it's, it's really weird how they get it. But you can go to Staples or Future Shop or wherever, any electronic shop, and I'm sure you can get... Uh, a longer uh, USB cable, which I'm most likely going to do later on uh, when I get a bit of time. Uh, then you're also going to need your uh, the disc, you know, to to install the Visex uh, MPK49 program. But uh, if you don't have the CD, like say for example, if you bought it off uh, somebody else or off you know whoever, and they do not have the CDs, you can all have, you can go to Akai's website and get get the go on the download section and I'm sure they're, they're, they're I remember last time I went to check for my buddy and uh, there's you know there's a lot of programs you can get for this but uh, the Visex you can definitely get online and all the all the system files and everything open your Cubase here's your Cubase whatever uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open a new project very quickly uh, my MIDI is hooked up so uh, you know you can kind of see uh, so here I have Cubase opened up. Now what you're going to want to do, uh, my MIDI is already hooked up right here. Uh, where every time I press a key, it's there. Or every time I press a pad, it's there. So how you're going to want to do that is you're, you're going to want to go to the Devices drop down. Okay, go down to Device Setup. Okay, now from here, you're going to want to click so your generic remote, you should have the Akai MPK-49 once it's hooked up and everything. Uh, you might want to click on that. Okay, that's all clicked on. Okay, now what you're going to want to do, okay, is click this import button. Okay, so now, mine's already here. But uh, you're going to want to go to your computer or wherever you save those, those files for the thing, for the, your software preset files. So click on that, and then you go down to Cubase. See, there's there's Cubase right there, and then you load this in. I I I'm, I already loaded it up, so I don't really need it. But you click on that, and uh, and then you just hit apply. You click apply, wait for apply, and then just click OK. And then after, just restart your Cubase. So when you restart your Cubase, you go right here. And you go to, you hit uh, preset. Mine's, as you can see, is already at Cubase. But if, like I made that, I made that number one on the Visex. You can do that option on Visex, but I don't want to go too deep into that. You, you can, the third one is also Cubase. So you can just, all you do, you just got to push this button to load whatever program you want to. In this case, we're in Cubase. And uh, here you can see all, every time I press a key, See a little orange bar go up. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just, I'll show you guys. I'll just open a, a just just this pro, a random project that I'll do. Uh, like I'll just open a VST and I'll show you how, how the tracking works. I got the waveable synth here. See, check that out. So, I hope that this worked out for you because it definitely worked out for me. And uh, if, you know, if you guys have any questions, uh, just drop down the comment box. I'll try my best to get uh, to get back to you. Uh, if you guys need production, give me a shout on YouTube. My management will 
definitely uh, give you guys a shout. And, uh, you know, please check out my music. Uh, you guys can check out my first single, Fly Away, uh, on, on YouTube. I'll put, I'll put uh, an annotation. You guys can check that out. I, I'd really appreciate it if I give you guys so much help. You can just give me a bit of help and just check out my single. Uh, the video will be dropping for that track very soon. So keep checking it out. Keep supporting me. I uh, hope you guys, uh, you know, I hope this tutorial worked for you guys. And uh, thanks so much. Take care.